Um, hello again everyone, uh, this is just the second part of the video, uh, it's just a follow up really. There was a few comments and questions regarding how the Marx ACDs and Relay worked, so I thought I'd, I'd make a mock up board and just try and see if we can explain it a little bit better. Hopefully this clears things up, if not leave us a comment, let us know, thank you. So, from comments, people, a lot of people have asked about how the actual board set up. There was a little bit of confusion. We've made a very basic uh, demo board here, just with bits. I've laid out as close as to max as possible with the bits we still had left. Um, so, let's see if hopefully this will clear it up for some people. So, firstly, let's go as your standard power, inverter power. So, if we turn the inverter on, there's your inverter power coming in through your RCD, from your RCD, straight through to the contactor on its standard state, which is normally closed. From the normally closed, you go up. At the moment, we're going through a green light for indication, but that would go to your neutral buzz bar, and the live would run across your breakers to feed all your accessories. And that's how we are in our default form. Now we'll come along and plug in at your campsite, so your hookup goes on. Right, what's happened there now? Your hookup's powered up. The white light represents power coming into the board, just so you can see what's going on when we're tripping RCDs. So your power comes in from the hookup through the RCD, then goes to a breaker, which is purely there to protect the coil. So if the coil on the contact was able to burn out or go wrong, it wouldn't burn your full board out, it would just cut, cut the actual relay back out to no power to the coil. Now that's gone on, we've now switched from its standard state, which is normally closed, to its powered up state or energized state, which is the normally open. So it goes from closed to open, which then feeds onto the uh, red, which represents you've got your shore power. Again, the red light's there just to help us indicate it. That would go to the neutral buzz bar and again, be piggybacked into your breakers. So you're switching between your feeds. Uh, we'll unplug the shore power and then we'll go back to inverter power. As you can see it swaps over nearly instantaneously. So it's not quite an uninterruptible power supply, but it's not far off. Now put your power back on again. Shore power on. We've relays gone over, we've gone on to shore power. And then we also had questions about the RCD. And I must admit, I was 100% sure as well, because I've never actually tested one without an air, because it's not something you do. But we're doing this now, so as you can see, earth's not connected to the board, and the shore earth's not connected to the board. So we're totally disconnected. If we push the test button, so we're on inverter power at the moment. RCD worked, no earth connected. Power that back on. So if we go back to shore power, you should hear the uh, contact to click. Shore power on. We've relays gone over, gone on to shore power. Now, just to prove the point, as we showed you earlier, with the uh, earth disconnected, no earth's there. RCD goes in, takes the power out because it's seen the fault. The shore power is still alive though, but that's tripped, so it's automatically taken the contactor out and we're going to invert power. We power the RCD back on, goes back to shore power, inverter power is turned off. Self and same on the inverter, drop that off, nothing there. We take the shore power away, still nothing. Power the inverter RCD back on, and there's your inverter power back. I hope that makes some sense. One of the questions was, have we ever turned to chassis and, and bonded the van? And yes, we have, so we'll show you that in a minute. I've learned that I forgot to put it in the last video, so my apologies. Just to re-go over that, we have aft to the chassis. It is a requirement in the regs. Where, now I've used a 10 milli earth. I like to make sure we've got a really good open path to uh, path to uh, down to the chassis. 
So we're on to the earth buzz bar there. Earth buzz bar runs down your earth there, comes all the way down, comes out the bottom as you can see. It's a flexible cable as well, not solid core. And that then goes down and through and basically just it goes right down to chassis the van. And that gives you your earth bond onto the van. So anything metal on the van is now all bonded together. I think that really covers anything and everything. Anything else, please again, comment, ask your questions, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Hold on.